Yo guys, what up? Here from beautiful Oregon. We're gonna go on an adventure today. We're gonna go check out Cougar Hot Springs. I only got a couple more adventures I'm gonna bust out before I have to leave the country again. So I thought it'd be good on a cold day like this. As you can see, everything is iced over, all ice. So I thought on a cold day like this, it'd be a great idea to go check out beautiful hot springs. I'm born and raised in Oregon, but I never seen these hot springs before. So I definitely have to go check it out. I'm gonna pick up my buddy. I'm gonna head out of Salem. We're gonna go two hours south. It should be a phenomenal day. You been to the hot springs? Yeah, bro. These are these the, ones. The three poles. These are. I've, the ne I've never been to these ones. Oh no way. No, no. I've been to Umpqua Hot Springs. I've never been to Cougar Hot Springs. Oh, dude, you're in for a treat. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. We had to stop here at Winco. As you can see, my buddy wanted to run in and uh, grab a salad. We're about an hour away from the forest area where the hot springs are at. I honestly don't know what, it, what the conditions are gonna be out there. It might be pretty icy on the road. I've never been there. I don't even know like what the trail's like, if the trail's open, closed. Of course, if they close nature sites, we don't ever abide by that. This is God's land and uh, we enter as we please. Willamette National Forest. So we got a lot of beautiful forests out here in Oregon. This is just one of them. One of the beautiful, glorious forests. Hey, look at all those trees right there. What is that? It's all burnt. Dang. Yeah. Wow. As you can see, we had some pretty bad forest fires over the past couple years out here. You can see the guard over there from the right side. Yeah, yeah. See, the roads are super icy. We just slipped, slid a little bit back there. We want to be careful because one brief slide and you could fall over this edge right over here. Hey, we'll get some slides. Look, look. Whoa. Be careful. Oh. <laughs> so I had to get out right here. I just wanted to check out how far this drop is. It's a pretty big drop. And then I saw these icicles. Little small waterfalls. Look at these are the roads right here. Check that out. So Saw this viewpoint right here, a little bit further up the road. Had to check it out. Had to get out and check this out right here. Wow, look at this. No way, dude. So this little sign right here, you can see the building and how high the water is. And look at that. So the water is super low right now. Usually it goes up to there, right? Roger Bannister. We are currently in the middle of Tiger site. Hardy's in there. All right, guys, we parked right here. At this beautiful scenic spot. I guess the trailhead <coughs> is right up over here. Right that way, there. You see that wooden thing? It's less than a mile hike. I think even less than a half mile to the pools. 
So we're about to get it. How you like that salad or what? Get some, so bomb man. Nice, it's so good. good. That's good, bro. What is this? Day use area? Oh, it's like a little trail. Same thing. What's your name? My name's Richard. Nice to meet you, Richard. Nice to meet you too. How are you doing today? Good, good. Cool. It says 10 bucks a person, right? Yes, sir. Cool. You have that. All right. All right. For both of us. Thank you, guys. Cool. Thank you, brother. Be careful on the top part of that trail. Cool. Uh, how, far, how far is the hike it's, in? It's about, it's about uh, 10 minutes. 10 minutes? I allow that in your time out, too. You time up there and back. I give you 20 minutes extra to get up there and back. Okay. okay thank cool. You. Thank you. So, as you can see, it's 10 bucks a person to get in, which is absolute crap, if you ask me, because <laughs> this is God's, <laughs> this is God's creation, and we're being charged to use it, which is ridiculous. And supposedly it's only for two hours but to be honest like whenever stuff like that happens and i'm charged for stuff i usually just go through the woods like i'll just straight up go around and go through the woods because i'm not paying for what god created for us to use so but anyways on a good note on a bright note on a happy note these are beautiful woods here beautiful trail and we're gonna check out these hot springs No, for real, dude. Clothing out here is optional. It's absolutely, absolutely ridiculous. I feel like. What if we find like ten out of ten baits right now, bruh? <laughs> okay, see, there's you, you, you're dealing with two selves. I have two selves. You're, you're trying to appeal to my animalistic <laughs> self, but my virtuous self says nay. But yes, so out here it's clothing optional which so I think is slightly ridiculous because I feel like we're living in ancient Rome or ancient Greece where you just got nudes running around in the woods like what if you want to bring your kids out here you know what I mean that guy legit. yeah that was super legit that guy yeah are you sure oh that guy he looked legit what if he just looks legit so he takes people's money maybe it's possible because I'll just say I don't have any more cash on me, sir, if you can charge me more. And why is there even a two hour limit? What the fuck? Stupid, bro. You're trying to put a limit on nature? But all of this burnt for real, for real, dude. So all that, all these trees that are downed, used to be obviously full of trees all around here, and they got burnt in the forest fire. What does it have to say? Land, bureau, whatever. Oh. Yeah. Alright guys, so unfortunately there's a bunch of nude people here. Oh, On the other side, like right the way I'm facing, there's like three pools. They're the hot springs. I'm gonna try to wait until I can, you know, actually record. Um, because this is like three pools stacked on top of each other. The main pool is like, you know, most of the people are sitting in and uh, most of them are uh, nudes and naked, unfortunately. <clears throat> but I'll wait and uh, hopefully I'll get an opportunity to uh, show you guys because it is an amazing spot. Well, how is it, bro? Is it warm or what? Yeah, it's warm. Is it really? Nice. Oh. Warm, warm, like. Oh. <laughs> Let's go. It's warmer the higher up you go. Yeah, you want to go up there? Oh, let's show it here for a minute. Okay. All the nudies had to kill the party, huh? <laughs> Let's go. I mean, I guess when you get so old, yeah. you get desperate for attention. Yeah, you just gotta walk around with your wing out, huh? Yeah. So we're in the third pool right now, the one at the very bottom. The water's running off from the 
first pool at the top was probably the warmest one. You enjoying the water, bro? Yeah, you want room? What's up? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, boy. Look at the steam coming from that. Keep going there. So we're at the bottom pool. Pools go up that way. I'm enjoying this beautiful, lovely nature spot right here. It doesn't get much better than this, does it? Ooh. Dude, honestly, if I had like a fight coming up, this would be a perfect place to just come out here and bring like, bring those bands. Because yeah. they're super light, you don't have to carry a kettlebell all the way out here. You know what I'm saying, dude? And you can just hook it up to that little thing right there. And you can just get a shredder in, dude. And then hop in these pools right here. Heal up. That's how you gotta do it. Oregon. Oregon is top notch, guys. Top, top notch. So I asked my bro here about... Okay, so there were some dudes in that first pool up there. And generally, generally in society, dudes are getting hella soft. They're getting way too soft. And I noticed that up there, all those nudie dudes, man, they're, they're way too soft. And it's not good, dudes are not supposed to be like that. I swear there's an attack on the masculine nature of men. Have you noticed that? Yes. The bottom line is God is absolute truth and how God created this universe is the absolute truth. So when society, let's call it the Western world, right. tries to push their truth, Right. By sticking to your masculine nature, sticking to your blood-born intuition that God put into you will always prevail. Absolutely. It will always reign king over anything. Absolutely. So no matter what situation you are, you stick to what you were created from. Yeah. Your vibrations will overpower a room of a hundred people with a wacky vibration. <laughs> yeah, bro. You know? <laughs> yeah, you already know. Gotta stay strong, suckers. Gotta get in nature, <laughs> lift some kettlebells run up some hills, wrestle, and you gotta grapple. You know what I'm saying? Grappling Absolutely. is key. Learn some fighting method. You know, grappling, you can win 90% of the fights if you know how to grapple. But learn some kind of a fighting method. So you tap into that aggressive testosterone, let it soar in your blood. You well, what, what, what a better place than out here to have a nice philosophical conversation. Don't you agree? Yes, we always have good, we always have good philosophical discussions about life, creation, God. But when you go into nature, you tap into the source of the oh, source. Oh, absolutely, because you, know? you could, God's attributes are manifested everywhere around you. Yes. All right, guys. We're in the top pool right here. The biggest one. The warmest one. As you can see. Close enough there. How you feeling, bro? Oh, good. Yeah. Indeed. Feels great up here. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> Pacific Northwest vibes. All right, guys. So everyone left. Now we got the spot to ourselves. Now I can properly show you guys around. All right. Bottom pool. That pool right there is the warmest as the water comes off the pools get gradually get cooler but this is a nice warm spot right here let's go let's go <laughs>